Hi everyone, this is Tatiana Pashalich for CalvinAir.com with the latest updates from the World Series of Poker 2015 Day 1C here at the Rio All Suites and Casino. With over a thousand players already entering day two, the last day of registration just brought in more poker players, including Hall of Famers Mike Sexton, Joe Hashem, Daniel Negreanu, and Breaking Bad actor Aaron Paul. Also back with vengeance is Colossus third placer Ray Hansen, who remains humble despite his accomplishments. I want to be back in November to either rail or actually, I want to be here to play. I just but, but if I'm here to rail, that's, that's good enough for me. I just love how humble this guy is. I mean, they're all roasting you at home. It's like, oh, you came third and we won bracelets. And yeah. I'm like, okay, now I would say it's my revenge time. I'm coming back in November. Yeah, well, like, I'm the only one without a bracelet, so it's, it's time to get one. But, um, but if I don't and a friend of mine is in shot to win the biggest tournament of the year, I'll be happy for him and uh, you know, I'll be there to support him and you know, be fun. Although poker pros like Jason Kuhn, McLean Carr, and many others are still playing at the WSOP, there are some pros who were missing this summer. Arnaud Matern explains the current trend. I've noticed that uh, quite a few pros are switching it up, playing uh, the whole series one year, then coming and picking events and playing cash game. Does it help you kind of stay in focus? Yeah, I think, I mean, uh, I've been doing like the, you know, playing 25, 30 events during the summer. It's uh, very easy to get burned out. So I think you need, you know, to uh, relax a little bit, take one year off, take another year, like, more hard. Like, I mean, to each his own, you know. $10,000 may be a small change to former winners like Greg Merson and last year's champ Martin Jacobson, but some people still have to find creative ways to enter the main event. Why did you choose Day 1C when they're all 10-handed? Um, I was unaware of that fact. Um, I had to gather enough money being a male gigolo in order to afford my buy-in. So the women are not paying up at, on time? Right, and uh, you know, I had to send my madam after them. Oh my gosh. And, uh, she took care of it for me, and uh, we're here now. $10,000 in a dream, you know? I was excited when I saw you yesterday, and you were gathering your money right. because people were buying pieces. Now you're in the main event. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Um, you know, it's my third year playing the main event, and of course, I'm always excited. I'm always grateful that people are putting up money for me, which is always great because I usually don't can't afford to play but uh, it's awesome to play any tournament with, with pros it's you know it's it's always gonna be hard you know you you know you sort of like to have like you know amateurs like myself that'd be nice as well but you know pros you sort of know they have a certain style of playing and you can sort of adapt to that preparing for a week-long battle the always healthy Tyler Kenny strongly recommends a holistic approach in order to stay strong would you recommend meditation to people? Um, 100%. I would. I wasn't doing it all summer. And um, I was making a lot of day twos, but not enough day threes. So I feel better now. I finally got back on that train of uh, yoga. I wouldn't say I meditate so much. It's more about, I do a lot of hot yoga. So it's more about destroying my body and then replenishing it afterwards and then it's saying thank you to me. And awesome. And that's it for today's updates of the World Series of Poker 2015 Day 1C. Join us tomorrow for more poker videos. This is Tatiana Pasolic. Thank you for watching Calvinair.com.